Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session where we will explore the fascinating world of evaluation tools focusing on one of the most insightful methods observation. Let's start by understanding what observation really means in context of evaluation. Observation is the act of closely watching and noting specific behavior events or phenomena. In education, this tool provides a first-hand look at students' actions and interaction. Now that we know what observation is, let's delve into its various types. There are two primary types of observation, structured and unstructured. Structured observation involves predetermined categories, while unstructured observation allows for a more flexible and open-ended approach, capturing a broader range of behaviors. But why choose observation as an evaluation tool? Well, there are several benefits. Firstly, observation allows for real-time assessment, providing an authentic presentation of students' abilities and progress. It's like capturing a snapshot of learning in action. Secondly, it's versatile. Observation can be adapted to various subject skills or age groups. Whether it's assessing social interactions, scientific experiments or artistic endeavors, observation is incredibly adaptable. Another key advantage is its ability to capture nuances. It goes beyond what a test score might reveal, uncovering subtleties like problem-solving approaches, collaboration skills, or individual learning styles. Now, let's talk about how observation is practically applied in educational settings. In the classroom, teachers often use observation to gauge student engagement, participation, and comprehension. Imagine being able to see students' collaboration during group activities or how they independently tackle a challenging problem. Moreover, Observation is a valuable tool for formative assessment. Teachers can adjust their teaching strategies based on real-time observations, tailoring their approach to meet the diverse needs of their students. In conclusion, observation is more than just watching. It's a dynamic tool. It empowers educators to gain deep insights into the learning process. It's personal, adaptable, and brings the evaluation process to life. That concludes our exploration of observation as a tool of evaluation. I hope you found this journey insightful. Remember, observation isn't just about seeing, it's about understanding, adapting and ultimately enhancing the educational experience. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy learning.